Well, Senate Republicans are preparing a counteroffer to President Joe Biden before a Memorial Day deadline on infrastructure. CBS4 Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor is live now with the details. Jesse. Yeah, good evening, Debbie. Both sides have now tweaked the price tags of their proposals, but they're still at a crossroads over what major issues to include and how to pay for them. The fork in the road. Senate Republicans, like Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, are giving the Biden administration two choices on infrastructure. A lonely road leading to the far left versus a mainstream bipartisan road leading straight ahead toward practical policies that make Americans' lives actually better. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy urges the administration to ditch the parts of the plan that fund non-traditional infrastructure, including investments in child care centers and green energy. If the president will put a real infrastructure bill on the floor of the Senate, Senate Republicans will pounce on it like a ninja. To pay for it, Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson wants to use unspent COVID-19 relief funds to avoid President Biden's suggested increase in corporate taxes. You've got that pile of money there that we can just repurpose. And, you know, $700 billion would be a very good down payment on true infrastructure spending. The White House made it clear Wednesday the president still wants bipartisanship, but ultimately won't budge in certain areas. Inaction is that red line, and he wants to make sure that we don't uh, tax people who uh, make like less than four, $400,000 a year. So we look forward to seeing what they come back with. But some Senate Democrats, like Chris Murphy, are growing tired of waiting for Republicans. We do have a process by which we could do this, you know, with 50 votes. And uh, I think pretty soon we're going to have to take a look at that option. And the White House expects to get the GOP counteroffer tomorrow morning. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Back Jesse, to you. Jesse, yeah, quick question. Do you have a sense of what this counteroffer from Senate Republicans might look like? The GOP is keeping that pretty close to the chest, but we do know that it could tweak just a little bit of the funding mechanism since they are going to increase their offer up to that $1 trillion price tag, so by about $50 billion. But exactly how they plan to do that, we'll have to see tomorrow. All right. Jesse Tour, thank you very much.